Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to read a txt file in C -sharp and how to write into a text file. So I have added a textfile.txt resource into my solution, which is a simple uh, text file containing three lines, text, test1, test2 and test3. And then I am firstly invoke, um, initializing a new string variable called path. I am using the directory.getCurrentDirectory to get the path to the current directory which, where the .exe file is stored at and I'm using path combine to combine this this path with with one path which I have which I have uh, uh, typed into uh, as an argument so um, the .exe file is stored three levels above the text file.txt because we have the um, the folder of our solution then it's slash bin slash debug slash netcore 3.1 and then uh, it's the .exe file so I have to step out of the current folder um, three times and then I can reach the, dot, the text file .txt, uh, resource so after that I can use the path.get full path to get the full path of the a path that is the result of this combination and I can use the path variable to invoke the file.readAllText method which will read all the contents of the file into one single string variable. I can also use file.readAllLines which will read all the lines of contained inside of this, um, uh, of this file into an array of strings and I can loop over them using for each loop so for each line in lines collection I will use console write line to display this line into the console window let's see if it works so as you can see I, I see the the contents of the file test 1, test 2 and test 3 and here you, you can see the, the path so the .exe file is stored at netcore up 3.1 folder so I had to step out three times into debug folder into bin folder and then into console app 14 folder which is my solution folder uh, and then I can reach the txt, text file.txt uh, which is stored at the console app 14 folder that's why I had to step out three times from, from the get current directory path which is pointing into the .exe file the directory where it's stored at so that's basically how to read uh, the contents of text file in C -sharp. Hello guys, so uh, writing into a text, text file is very simple. We are using the using syntax, so everything, uh, the resource which is initialized inside of the parentheses is going to be disposed in the end after uh, leaving the brackets here. So I am initializing the stream writer, we are uh, naming it file. Uh, we are using the constructor and passing in the path as a, as a parameter and I am using the append set to true so we are going to append new lines into the file and not clean the file completely before so um, I am invoking the write line on the file uh, and I am writing a new line, fourth line into this file let's see if it works so uh, the, um, the program has ended Let's see the text file and as you can see I see the, the fourth line uh, written into the, um, the text file. So that's basically all you have to know to do basic operations on files with C -sharp. So reading and writing into text file. Hope it was helpful to you and I hope to see you soon.